Are you having difficulty installing macOS Sequoia? Hello friends, I am Carly. In this video, we'll trace the most common issues and show solutions to fix them. So, let's watch the video till the end. Before you install a new operating system like macOS Sequoia, you should perform a time machine backup on your Mac. This backup helps you reinstall the previous version, like macOS Sonoma. Most common issues. As shown on the video screen, here are some reasons why macOS Sequoia can't be installed on your Mac. Check system requirements. Make sure you're trying to install new software updates on compatible Mac devices. Here's a list of Macs that support Sequoia. If your Mac is on the list, you can go through the installation process. If not, you won't be able to download macOS Sequoia. Even if you somehow install it on an unsupported Mac, it won't run the same on your Mac. Optimize or free up storage space. If your Mac is compatible but shows storage issues during the installation process, you need to remove large files and unwanted data from your Mac computer. Let's follow the steps. Go to the Apple menu and click on System Settings. Then, click on the General section, then choose Storage. Wait for a few seconds for the screen to finish loading. Analyze the storage space, look for recommendations, and remove unnecessary large files. Also, remember to empty the bin. That's it. If you have enough storage but have internet-related issues, follow the next solution. Check your internet connection. Your Mac requires a fast and stable internet connection to install the Sequoia update. If you face dropout or disconnecting issues on your Mac, try connecting to the same wireless network on another device. If it connects, then the problem is with your Mac. First, go to the Apple menu and click on the Restart option. Then, click the Restart button to confirm. Wait until your Mac restarts. Then, open Wi-Fi settings from the system settings. Here, turn off and on the Wi-Fi toggle and wait for reconnect. Make sure you are closer to the router. If the problem persists, try connecting to another Wi-Fi network. If it doesn't work, click the top i card or check the video description to watch the full video on Wi-Fi that is not working on macOS. Check Apple's system status. You can check the status of all online services, including operating system updates and more, from Apple's system status page. So, go to the website link given in the video description. Now, find macOS software update on the list. If you see a green dot next to it, that means it's working on your Mac. And if you see the red dot, you must wait until it's resolved. That's it. Install macOS Sequoia from a bootable USB drive. If you have tried all the solutions but the problem remains, try to install macOS Sequoia from a bootable USB flash drive. Click on the top i card or check the video description to watch the full how to create macOS Sequoia video. If your macOS update is stuck and not complete, move to the next solution. Reset NVRAM and SMC for M1 and M2 Mac models. There is no option to reset NVRAM or SMC. However, a simple restart can resolve and automatically manage these settings on your Mac. For Intel-based Macs, here are the steps to reset NVRAM and SMC. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for the latest tips and tricks videos.